Hi, Dominica here from easysewingforbeginners.com. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite sewing aids in the sewing room, and that is my fabric clip wrist holder. You can see right here. It's a super handy thing to have in the sewing room, and I can't wait to show you how to make it. So let's get going. So for this tutorial, you'll need a two and a half by 20 inch strip of felt. You will also need a six inch by 10 and a half inch piece of fabric. That could be cotton, or I like to use flannelette material as well. You'll need about three inches of your hook and loop tape or Velcro, and you'll need your sewing machine thread as well. Now there are some tools that you'll need like your sewing machine and your sewing machine needle, scissors and those types of things. If you want a full list of everything you need then check out the tutorial on my website or you can also download the free PDF there as well. Okay so the first thing you'll need is your strip of felt. We are going to fold it in half and then we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew down these two edges here just to hold them together nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to use some wonder clips of course just to hold it all together nicely. And then we're going to head over to the sewing machine. Okay, so now we're ready to sew these two edges together. I've got my sewing machine on about a 2.4 straight stitch length and I'm going to do about a 1 8 of an inch. Um, seam allowance. Okay, so I'm not going to worry too much about doing a back stitch and I'm just going to move my needle over a little bit there. Okay, and off I go. Okay, so now you can see we've sewed those two edges together. So what we need to do now is cut little slits from the folded edge down and we're going to stop probably about maybe half an inch away from the other edge and we're going to do that all the way down. So here I've finished cutting slits down the whole length of the felt piece. Okay, I've snipped off my little tail ends, my thread tails there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one end of my felt with the little loopy bits sticking out and then I'm going to wind the piece of felt all the way, just keep winding it around the top of my index finger there. Okay, it doesn't have to be super tight. If you haven't guessed already, this is for the top of the Wonder Clip holder. So that's what it will look like at the top. You might like to do it a little bit looser than what I have. Okay, and that's what it will look like at the back. So what I'm going to do now is I've already prepared a needle with thread and I've doubled the thread over and put a knot at the end there. Okay, so very carefully I'm going to do a whip stitch all the way around the edge of the top of the Wonder Clip holder just to hold all those layers together. So when you're putting the needle through, just make sure you capture every layer there. Okay, and this bit doesn't have to be super neat because you're not going to see it after. really just to hold this bit all together. Okay, once you've gone all the way around, you just need to secure the thread in. So I'm just going to put it through, put the thread through a loop and just going to do that one more time just to make sure that thread doesn't come undone. Okay, we're going to put this one to the side for now and then we're going to 
move on to the wrist strap part. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to the wrist strap part of this Wonder Clip holder. So I've got my iron on a dry cotton setting and I've got my piece of fabric all cut to size ready to go. So first thing we need to do with the wrong side facing up, we're going to fold this fabric in half. Okay, I'm going to create a crease on there. Okay, then we're going to open that back up and we're going to use this crease line here as a guide and fold our two ends in and iron them. Okay, just fold it back up again and just give it another good press. All right. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to open it up once more and we're going to fold this edge in probably about a quarter of an inch. It doesn't need to be exact, it's just to hide this raw edge away. I'm going to give that press just to hold it in place. And turn the fabric around and do the same with the other end. Okay, and then I'm going to fold the fabric back up again using the creases as a guide. Okay, and then once you're happy with how all the fabric is sitting, then give it a good press with the iron to hold it all together and then you might like to use some of the wonder clips or a pin just to hold it all in place until you get to the sewing machine. Okay so now we've got our wrist strap fabric all ironed and ready to top stitch around the edge. Now what I like to do is I like to start on the side that has the um, open edges and I usually start in a spot round about where I'm going to be sewing the top of the wrist holder um, onto so I'm going to do about a 1 8 of an inch top stitch around the whole edge now if you have a walking foot like this now would be a good time to use it if you just have a standard foot then that's fine you just need to be really aware of when you get to the corners that you don't go too close to the corners because the um, thread may get stuck there and bunch up. Okay, I'm going to move my needle right over and I'm going to have my needle in the down position. Now I'm going to make sure I do a back stitch with this so it secures the stitch in nicely and off I go all the way around. Now when I get to the corner I'm going to have my needle in the down position. I'm going to lift my presser foot up and pivot the fabric around there. And off I go. And you're all done. Just cut off those thread tails and then we're ready to attach the Velcro. Okay, so now we're ready to sew the Velcro on. So first of all, I'm just going to position it in place. So I've got my soft Velcro that I use the whole three inches of. Now I'm just going to use my clips just to hold them in place. Try and get it as centered as possible and probably about maybe half an inch or so away from the edge. And then to do the other side you need to make sure you flip your strap over and on the other end there I just use about maybe an inch or so of the scratchy um, sticky part of the velcro so I have my velcro all in place ready to stitch on 
Okay, let's move to the sewing machine and we're ready to sew these on. Now, sometimes when I'm sewing Velcro, I might change the top thread to, um, to white, but for now I'm going to leave it as the pink and then you might be able to see it a little bit better as well. Okay, so probably an, an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the Velcro. And I'm going to back stitch to secure it on there. And then off I go. And the same as I did when I was doing the top stitch, when I get to the corner there, I'm going to have the needle down and I'm going to pivot. So you can see now that's all secured the Velcro in place. I'll just need to snip those threads off there and I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the other side there as well. Okay, so I've finished sewing the Velcro on and I've snipped off those little thread tails that were left behind. So the last thing we have left to do is sew the top of the Wonder Clip holder to the wrist strap of the Wonder Clip holder. Okay, so what I've done is I've prepared a needle um, with thread and I've doubled it over and knotted it at the end there. So well, I like to have um, the scratchy part of the Velcro at the front and facing down and I'm just going to work out where I would like it. I usually just put it down a bit from center. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, it's gonna to have to use all your fingers just to hold it together, but I'm just going to bring the thread through a few of the layers and out through the side of the top piece and I'm just gonna put it through again and put it through the loop just to secure it in place there. Whoops. Okay, and now I'm going to use a special stitch called a ladder stitch. Left a little loop there behind, but I'm just gonna tuck that away. So for my ladder stitch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the needle through probably about an eighth of an inch. And I'm just gonna use that sewn line on the top of the wonder clip holder as my guide and put it through about an eighth of an inch there and then directly below it on the wrist holder part of this project I'm going to put the needle through about one eighth of an inch at the bottom there. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, and so I'm going to go back up to the top of the Wonder Clip holder and then directly below. Okay, when you get back to the beginning there, all you need to do is put the needle through one of the loops as you're going through, tighten it up and just do it again. Put your needle through some of the fabric, just sort of creating a little loop at the end, pop your needle through, do that a couple of times and that should secure it in place. And I'm just going to bring the needle out just to hide the thread tails away. Snip. Okay. And there you have it. You've finished your Wonder Clip wrist holder. So, this wrist holder is fantastic for holding your Wonder Clips, and I also like to put my normal pins in the middle there as well. 
Don't forget to check out their Easy Sewing for Beginners shop at www.easysewingforbeginners.com and click on the blue button at the top of the website to find all of my free Easy Sewing projects and how-to PDFs for download. If you'd like to say a little thank you by purchasing a $1 thank you edition of any of the PDFs then that would be greatly appreciated as well. You'll also find the blue button at the top of the page on mobile devices as well. So. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you like this video, leave a comment down below and if you want more easy sewing projects and how to videos then hit the big red subscribe button right there on your screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy sewing!